have you ever pondered about the quality of the water you drink, the clarity, the purity, the freshness? It's something we often take for granted. But imagine a world where clean, drinkable water is not a certainty, but a luxury. A world where the water that flows from your tap is not clear, but brown, not fresh, but foul-smelling. This is not a dystopian fiction, but a harsh reality. In Harding, the answer to this question is not as clear as the water should be. In the picturesque town of Harding, the water system tells a tale of neglect and despair. The life-giving liquid originates from a dam nestled above the town, flowing down into the waterworks, a system lodged just above the treated timbers. This high area, known as the treated timbers, houses all our reservoirs for what should be fresh, drinkable water. Yet the reality is far from this ideal. The water, once clear and pure, has turned into a murky brown cesspool, unfit for consumption. It doesn't stop at the colour, the water reeks, a foul smell that makes you wonder what lurks within its depths. It's a shocking sight when you see the water that fills your toilet after a flush, a dirty waterfall cascading down. The people of Harding, they're struggling, grappling with a water crisis that's been ignored for far too long. Imagine running a workshop for 10 long years without a drop of water. Imagine carrying your own water because the taps run dry. Imagine the water that does run once a month is so dirty and smelly that it's unbearable. The water infrastructure, last updated in 1948, is blamed for the terrible water state. Yet 25 years ago, new pipes were laid, old ones replaced. Promises of clean water were made only to be broken. Sadly, the water in this pretty town is not something you'd want to drink or even wash your clothes with. The water situation in Harding is more than just a minor inconvenience. It's a crisis that permeates every aspect of life in this town. Picture this, the water you're expected to drink, to cook with, to bathe in is the color of mud. It reeks, it's filled with sediment and who knows what else. The health risks are staggering, but what choice do you have when there's no alternative? The economic impact is just as dire. Local businesses are suffering. Imagine running a workshop without water or having to replace a geyser filled with silt. Time and again, it's a financial burden that just adds to the stress. And let's not forget the emotional toll, the frustration, the despair, the sense of being ignored. It's a heavy weight to bear. The people of Harding deserve better. It's high time we understand that clean water, a basic human right, is a luxury for the residents of Harding.